Hi everyone, this is a review of uh, Omarchi Linux. This is uh, a very particular Linux distro, uh, which is not based on the KDE or GNOME desktop, like the majority of uh, Linux distros. And um, I think it is uh, mainly targeted to pro users. And uh, I say that because uh, uh, for some newbie users, uh, probably it is uh, too complicated and uh, for uh, developers, maybe they will do uh, the configuration by themselves. But uh, it is very interesting because uh, it uh, combines a lot of uh, uh, great technologies in uh, the Linux ecosystem and uh, it also has uh, great uh, defaults. So if you want uh, something that is ready, uh, ready to use and you are a pro user, I recommend to test this distro. Um, it uses Hyperland um, as a window manager and as a desktop environment because it is uh, configured. So I won't talk much about uh, this desktop environment. Uh, uh, if you want to look more, uh, have a look to this, uh, my video. Uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, default uh, uh, screen and it uses uh, Hyperland. So it's uh, a tiling uh, window manager. So if you um, start uh, HTOP, you can see that uh, it takes uh, 760 megs so it's quite light but uh, um, yeah it's uh, a full feature linux distro uh, the other interesting defaults are uh, the artificial intelligence so you have uh, open code and you can use open code also to learn about uh, Hyperland and the other tools uh, inside uh, this distro. So you can ask uh, uh, which uh, resolution do I have? I use Hyperland. It's useful to specify that. And uh, uh, it knows that using Hyperland, you can use uh, these commands. So also the artificial intelligence uh, knows uh, the state of your system and uh, you can also use it to, to change. So I could ask uh, the artificial intelligence to uh, change some parameters in my Linux distro. Um, and the open code also works uh, with the local LMs. So if you have a powerful computer, you can use uh, local models uh, instead of uh, uh, remote uh, artificial intelligence. Um, so let's see uh, another fast fetch. So this is uh, the uh, default uh, screen for fast fetch. Uh, so it's uh, basically Arch Linux uh, with uh, the themes uh, and uh, with many interesting uh, defaults. And uh, I say this uh, distro isn't for everybody because uh, if you open uh, a um, new terminal or a new window, you see that uh, it, it's complicated because not uh, every window uh, manage well uh, uh, dynamic uh, width and uh, but of course you can use uh, super o to change uh, this window to a floating window but uh, uh, I, I won't talk about uh, um, hyperland because i already made a video about that so um, if you are a developer or a pro user, this isn't a problem for you. Uh, you just have to learn the shortcuts and uh, the other uh, cool feature about this distro is that uh, uh, it has uh, uh, a comprehensive guide about uh, uh, the system. 
So you have uh, key bindings. Uh, so the shortcuts, uh, if you don't uh, remember everything about uh, uh, the shortcuts, you can use uh, this, learn, key bindings, close. So you can remember that with the super, so the Windows key uh, plus uh, the W, you close uh, the window and it works. Um, so these defaults uh, are useful to, to learn the system or you can use uh, these defaults also to take uh, inspiration for your particular configuration. There are many default uh, apps that, uh, um, I don't know, some could be useful, some uh, not, but you can uh, uninstall that if you want. You have a Docker and other apps which are popular. Uh, then uh, we have the trigger. Trigger are if you want to capture so screenshots or uh, recordings of the screen. You have the style integration so of the teams and uh, you also have uh, a fork of uh, Chromium, so it's a distro that uh, do not use uh, Firefox. Um, so you can go to uh, the menu and uh, change the teams, change the, the team in style, and then team if you put uh, a um, daylight uh, team uh, you have uh, uh, also chromium that changes the team automatically and uh, this uh, feature isn't um, available yet in uh, default chromium so they use uh, a fork to to have uh, this kind of behavior and uh, then we have a setup so the the configuration for your hardware and then uh, uh, you can install remove packages and you have some helper scripts to, to install other artificial intelligence uh, instead of uh, open code which is default and uh, the same is for other use cases so development you can install a stack for programming so uh, I mean, uh, you can do it by yourself, but here you can have uh, uh, scripts that help you in the, uh, that situation. Uh, we have uh, updates, so let's see the updates. And uh, yes. Let's see if there are updates. And there are updates. And there are also migrations for the uh, Omarchi configuration part. Okay, uh, other interesting things. Uh, um, let's see about. Okay, it's uh, fast fetch. Okay. Uh, Another killer feature for me is uh, that by default uh, this uh, Linux distro uses uh, um, BTRFS and uh, with a bootloader that supports uh, snapshots and uh, uh, rollbacks. So if you type uh, something like uh, limine snapper restore and your password you can uh, restore to a previous uh, version if uh, something broke with the update and uh, these are um, btrfs snapshots uh, on a lux encrypted uh, container so it's uh, a very uh, specific and useful configuration which uh, Unfortunately, it isn't the default uh, in many Linux distro, and uh, I think uh, 
this is very convenient, uh, secure and useful. I hope that also other Linux distro integrates uh, this uh, feature which uh, are available in Linux for uh, a while. And uh, other cool features which uh, are in uh, version 3.3 and uh, on and beyond. Uh, you have uh, Vox type, which uh, I, I didn't uh, configure it uh, in the virtual machine, but it's very useful and, and fast. So you have uh, the uh, dictation or speech to text integrated in the desktop en environment, so, so you can use it uh, everywhere. So let's try this in my system that I, I already downloaded the, the model to do that. So let's try, let's try <laughs> to use this feature. And if you wait uh, a while and then you do uh, control V, okay, <laughs> it, it, it didn't work, but let's try again. Okay, I'm trying to speak. Okay, it's perfect and uh, it also supports uh, other languages. Uh, it's the Whisper model, which works uh, also on CPU. Questa è una prova di digitazione automatica. And uh, you don't have to specify your language because uh, it automatically understands your native language. And uh, of course you can use it uh, in uh, every text box, so no problem. Uh, so Vox type it's fantastic and it's uh, integrated in um, uh, Omarchi or you can use uh, it in your preferred Linux distro, it's fantastic. Uh, then we have uh, um, Open Code which uh, I, I already showed you and uh, yeah and other features so this is uh, Omarchi and uh, uh, as you can see there are many updates already available. This is the um, default uh, website which is uh, omarchi.org and you can download the, the latest uh, ISO to install the system. Uh, it is also an opinionated uh, installer so uh, you um, have to use uh, the encryption in uh, your partitions and uh, probably you can't do dual boot because the installer it's very opinionated so you can change much but if you install uh, Omarchi on um, a clean uh, um, SSD uh, it works uh, very well or inside a virtual machine so I recommend uh, this distro it's uh, it's quite light, it's uh, very uh, nice uh, to see all these features packed together and uh, they work uh, very well. I also hope that uh, other Linux distros uh, take uh, inspiration by this um, non-conventional Linux distro because it's very uh, cool and it includes uh, many features that are available in the Linux system uh, ecosystem but uh, not always are configured so that's it uh, let me know in the comments if you like uh, Omarchi or you prefer to configure Arch Linux by yourself and see you in another video bye